Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing Naomi and Eli's No Kiss List by Rachel Kahn and David Levithan. This is going to be a non-spoiler review, so you can stay and watch and listen to my unhappy thoughts, because they're not really, they're not really happy thoughts. So before I get into the bad stuff, um, I'll give you a brief synopsis. This story is about two best friends, Naomi and Eli. They live in the same apartment building, and they are like the epitome of best friend. Eli is gay and Naomi is in love with him. So that's, that's, that's the gist of it. And um, if you're wondering why it's called Naomi and Eli's No Kiss List, um, the two friends have this list of people that they have decided neither one of them can kiss because as they've grown up together, they both like the same people, you know, because they're both attracted to guys. So they put names of the guys on the list that they agree not to go near. But trouble hits paradise when Eli kisses Naomi's boyfriend, and that's not a spoiler because it's on the back of the book, so that's what leads to the downward spiral of their relationship, my experience with the book. I didn't like this book. I really didn't like it. The second I picked this book up and I started reading, I instantly had an issue with it, and I will show it to you right now because it is atrocious. In Naomi's chapters, um, there are lots of symbols in her writing. What I mean by this is, so if you can see there's like those symbols on the page. There's symbols down there. There's symbols there. But oh my god, how annoying is that? I don't, I don't like that. Please spell things out for me. I hate, I have to interpret like the symbols like I lie to Eli. I, Robin the that wasn't cute, it wasn't funny, it was annoying. I hated the symbols. But I thought, hey, I could look past this, alright? Just because there's annoying symbols in the story doesn't mean it's going to be bad. I was wrong. It kept going. I'm going to start with the little, little itty bitty things that annoyed me and I'll build up to the bigger concepts, okay? So number one was the symbols. Number two, in this story there are lots of repetitive names. It's a small thing, but it's really annoying. There's Robin the man, Robin the female, Bruce the first, Bruce the second. Okay, that's basically it. But still, it's very annoying and it's confusing and I lost track. Now going on to the characters. Didn't like them either. The characters are both really obnoxious. Naomi, throughout the whole book, is basically whining all the time how Eli will never love her. She's really whiny and she always tries to use her body to get what she wants. And that really annoyed me too because it made her just sort of like this sex object and I didn't like that at all. And the same thing with Eli. He was also painted as this like perfect guy and people were always falling at his feet and they both seemed too perfect, too beautiful and... Like, nobody has a friendship like that. I mean, they share the same clothes, they sleep in the same bed, but it was totally platonic. And they were next door neighbors, and they go to parties all the time, and I just, like, that's, no one lives like that. And no one does. Like, I felt like I couldn't relate to them at all. I don't do any of the stuff they do. They, they just seem really unrealistic, and their friendship seems really unrealistic. And then the book as a whole, the storyline was so uneventful. I mean, nothing really happens. There's the conflict and the resolution. The conflict plays out in the first like 10, 20 pages and the resolution plays out in the last 10 to 20 pages and in the middle we get just a bunch of nonsense, really. It's just the two main characters not talking to one another and the only time Naomi and Eli interacted was just throwing insults at each other. I don't want to give it away, but I feel like throughout the story there wasn't any character development, but in the in the very end there was a rush of it and I don't understand. Nobody sits in a class and then has an epiphany about themselves or that they, you know, and they suddenly change because that doesn't happen. I don't think it does. 
I just didn't like it. Like, their friendship was spelled out for us in the very beginning. But then throughout the book, we don't get the friendship at all because they're hating each other for the stupidest thing. And it's really superficial. I give this book a 2 out of 5 stars. And I was so disappointed in that because I love these two authors and this story just didn't work for me. It wasn't my favorite. Um, there was a few funny parts, but really, overall... It wasn't very enjoyable. Don't be discouraged from all of Rachel Kahn and David Levithan's books. They've written some really great stories together. My favorite is Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. It is a great story and I would recommend you read that one. I don't want to end this on a bad note. Thanks for watching. Bye.